mom and I are not sick anymore. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Thank you for all of your well wishes. In today's video, we're going to be showing you what we're going to make for Santa Claus tonight. And these are supplies that Sprinkles, our elf on the shelf, brought for us. So mom's gonna show you what you'll need. All right, everyone, these are the supplies that Sprinkles, our elf on the shelf, brought for us. And I'm just gonna show you one by one what they are. First up, we have a Kit Kat bar. They can be any kind of Kit Kat, the chocolate ones. They can be the dark chocolate ones. They can be the white chocolate, if you have those in your area. It doesn't really matter, but you will need Kit Kats. You will also need some type of green icing. This happens to be sparkly gel icing, so that will be quite festive. And you're going to need decorations. Now, Sprinkles just left us this little baggie of sprinkles. So these are going to look like lights and Christmas decorations by the time that I'm done. But any other type of red, green, white, blue, any other type of decorations that you have for decorating cookies would also work with this recipe that we're going to do. And those are the things you're going to need. First up, just to make this less messy and easier on ourselves, we have put down on the table here some wax paper and it will keep what we're getting ready to make from sticking. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, you're going to very carefully open your Kit Kats. These happen to be the Christmas themed ones, but by the time we're done, it won't really matter. So carefully open your Kit Kats. The reason why is because you wanna make sure that the Kit Kat pieces do not break apart. You want it to stay in one piece. Right, so there we go, and these have snowmen on them. That's kind of cool. So lay those down. We'll get to those in just a second, and I'm gonna open the other packet of Kit Kats now. These are perfect, because they have Santa actually on there. <laughs> All right, so there you are. You've got your two Kit Kats. Now, you're going to need your parents' help, guys, because you are going to need a knife. A pretty sharp one, too, because we're gonna be cutting into the Kit Kats. All right, everyone, so move one of them to the side, and you're gonna turn this on its side like this, okay? Then basically what you're going to do is you're going to cut them at an angle. And by cutting them at the angle, we're making them the shape of a Christmas tree. So I'm gonna take this and cut it a smooth line down like that. Okay, so I'm moving that to the side. Then I'm gonna come on this side and angle the tip right there and also cut this one down in a smooth motion like that. So there we have our tree. So the cool thing about this recipe also is you get to eat the leftover pieces that you're not gonna use. Lammy, you want this? Haha, <laughs> absolutely, give it here. <laughs> okay, so you are going to need a piece of this one though. Cut off a little piece. This is leftover for Lammy. Then you're going to cut this straight across because this is going to be the stump of the tree that you're going to attach right there like that. All right, so before I move on to the next step, I'm going to take our other Kit Kat and do the same thing. So that way we'll have two. All right guys, so the next step of what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your green icing, and this could be any color icing that you like. This just happens to be the uh, color that Sprinkles left for us. The cool thing about this is it has this tiny little nozzle here, which will make it great for this. All right, so first things first, you're going to squeeze some of your icing onto the stump. Quite a bit of it actually, because you want it to stick to the tree. And then you're going to push it onto the bottom of the tree like this like that, and it will dry over time and it'll stay. All right, everyone, so I zoomed in a little bit because this part is the fun part. So now, the reason why we have this wax paper down is you're gonna see in just a minute why. So basically what you do now is you take your um, icing and you basically are going to be doing a sweeping motion like this back and forth as you put icing on the tree. So let's get started. You just drizzle it like this. Can you see how it's drizzling? You just drizzle it like that back and forth. And you can put as little or as much as you want. Now the next part, you kind of have to be a little quick because you don't want the icing to dry because 
we are going to be putting the sprinkles on. So whatever Christmas decorations you have, gather them up. So here we have sprinkles that Sprinkles left for us. So you take whatever you've got and you sprinkle it on like this while the icing is still wet. So that way they'll stick. And once again, you can do as many or as little as you would like. Now we're gonna do the other one. All right guys, so there you have your little trees. Now what you have to do is let them dry. All right guys, so we are back. I have taken the trees and put them on a plate, but I wanted to show you what was left behind, all the extra sprinkles and the um, residue of the extra icing that was on the sides is sticking to this paper. So the cool thing about wax paper is it cleans right up. You just roll it up and you're done. And there are the trees. Um, Lammy wants to add a few extra pieces of chocolate, so I'm gonna go get those. Haha, -ha, I think they look amazing. Aren't they cool, guys? I thought that Santa might like something other than cookies this year, so we decided to do this. Mom, where are those chocolates? Oh, you mean these? Yeah, put those on there. Give Santa some chocolatey goodness. All right, I'll put one right there, and then we'll put this one at the top of the plate. How about that? Oh, it looks great, guys. Haha, <laughs> Mom, show them a close-up. All right, guys. So there are our Kit Kat Christmas trees, all decorated and ready to go with a few extra pieces of chocolate for Lammy. But we're missing a few things that we need. What are we missing, Mom? We're missing Santa's milk. Oh, yeah, I gotta give him the milk. And this year, we're leaving out carrots for the reindeer. Perfect! Alrighty, everybody, so that is the treat that I'm gonna leave for Santa this year. I really hope he likes it, and I hope the reindeer like the carrots. Leave me a comment below and let me know what are you leaving for Santa tonight. Also, let me know what did you ask for from Santa for Christmas. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll have another Christmas video up. It will be up over the weekend sometime where I will show you my Christmas present haul because so many of you always ask me what I get for Christmas, so I will do a video showing you. So anyway, guys, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're happy that Christmas is almost here. Also, be sure to subscribe. I do have more videos coming, and follow me on all of my social media. The links for those are in the description box below, and I will see you next time, guys, and I hope you all have a very magical Christmas.